Welcome back to the channel. I'm Chris. Behind me is another little box we got from eBay. And you know what time it is? It's Strasbourg time. Recently, I had acquired a very old school caboose manufactured by Atlas. And not long after getting that caboose, uh, another Atlas caboose popped up for sale, uh, which was very similar but I don't think quite as old, with some little subtle differences. So I went ahead and uh, ordered it up. So let's go ahead, take a look at it, see how it uh, compares with the other old school one. I'll go ahead and link in the video. But here we go, we have our Atlas, Strasburg Railroad, number 10, Barber Caboose, in box. There's the uh, side here. Number 6255, Oakgate Scale Series. Made in Austria. Wow. That's pretty cool. Originally from LR, LWR Models from Lancaster. Or as my uh, grandmother used to say, who was from Lehigh Valley, Lancaster. <laughs> Choo Choo Barn, ten dollars and ninety five cents. Wow. Got some cool uh, old tags on this box, but let's go ahead and gently take it out of this packaging. Okay, let's see here. Which side? I guess it's going to be this side. Box has seen better days, but still intact for the most part. Carefully remove the caboose here. Interesting. Okay. Ah, okay, and there we go. We got some tape on the bottom. Just so it doesn't jiggle around, okay. Here comes the kitty. Here we have the barber caboose on the tracks. Just uh, looking at the dimensions, it's uh, not a huge caboose, of course, being a barber. Uh, caboose itself about five and a half inches, but with these uh, lengthy couplers, I guess from tip to tip, it's approximately eight inches in length. Now it is 100% plastic. Not just the housing here and the couplers, but the wheels, axles, everything. Plastic, plastic, plastic. So uh, <laughs> uh, don't drop it on the floor. <laughs> Step on it. Um, it. Does have some very nice uh, colors on it. Uh, the Trasburg traditional uh, egg-shaped logo looks great. And this uh, yellow of the uh, handrails and ladders, uh, a nice contrast. Of course, we got the uh, black colors as well. We got the little lanterns here uh, at this end. Really, uh, decoration. Compare this one with the uh, prior version I got from Atlas, which is very similar, but uh, some subtle differences. Uh, the red here is a little different, and uh, this is just plain plastic with the. Um, handrails and ladders, the brake, whereas here we got the yellow plastic. Uh, this older one does not have any lanterns. Looks like uh, the undercarriage is slightly more detailed on uh, this one here. And of course we have the uh, grab bars here. Uh, they did a little paint striping on there. As well as uh, here as well. Uh, here it's just molded, but all of one color of just the, the formed plastic. So this is definitely a, a step uh, better in terms of quality above this one. You know, it's all plastic, at least, yeah, a little bit more detail work in there. Uh, a little nicer presentation. So, that was the uh, little evolution there by Atlas uh, back in the day. 
and we can compare this to uh, the most recent Barber edition released by Lionel. Uh, Size-wise, very similar, but uh, much big difference in quality and detail. So uh, with these couplers, uh, they don't uh, move very much, so you have to be uh, very uh, careful with them on uh, curves. And don't expect to uh, pull a whole bunch of uh, freight cars <laughs> with these tiny little plastic couplers. They're very, very delicate. So yeah, that's uh, our Atlas Bobber Caboose. Let's go ahead and uh, Put it on the back of our uh, freight train and take for a spin. Alright, so I was looking at this uh, 036 track. I knew this caboose would definitely not work on the 027 track because the couplers just don't extend side to side very far. But uh, I was trying different uh, freight cars, uh, tank car, hopper, box car, different types. And uh, I just uh, I'm not able to get it to uh, corner here on this 036 curve because on these couplers they have these little extension arms that come out really really far and these uh, tend to get in the way and knock into either um, the wheels on various cars or if they have ladders they'll strike that and uh, it'll either cause a derailment or just the back wheels kind of pop off on this uh, very lightweight plastic caboose and I don't want to force it and break these off now in the older version I have of this Atlas barber caboose those little uh, arms are completely broken off on both ends. So I was able to run this one, uh, no problem with 036 curve, but with this one with these things in the way, yeah, it's just not just not gonna work. If I had a a wider curve, maybe I could squeeze it through and I, I don't want to damage this uh box car and it seems to be in pristine condition and uh I'd like to just keep it that way. So <laughs> unfortunately uh we won't be able to run this caboose, but I guess I'll just go ahead and throw this one back on the tracks in its place. For an old school Strasburg caboose, we got this old school Strasburg number 98440 by MTH. There's nothing more Pennsylvanian than Yingling. Here we have the newest Atlas Strasburg item, which is this dump car with load. Uh, this is exclusively from Nicholas Smith Trains one of a hundred and they still have some available so you can swing by their store or grab one from their website if you want to add one to your collection. Here we have the recently released uh, Strasburg Railroad single dome tank car from RMT. These are very economically priced and uh, currently available from RMT dealers. We got our 150 year anniversary car and finally our Atlas Caboose. Let's fire it up.
Okay, there we have it, our Atlas Strasburg Railroad number 10 bobber car caboose. I hope you enjoyed checking it out with me. Uh, if you've gotten this far, please like and subscribe. Consider uh, supporting us on Patreon so we can get uh, lots more cool items to check out and review together. And uh, we'll go ahead and see you next time. Thank you.